here at uh, SeaWorld Orlando um, to ride Pipeline the Surf Coaster. And yeah, so the coaster is not actually open yet. Um, I'm going to be riding it early because I do have a SeaWorld Platinum Pass. Um, and yeah, I've heard good things about it and I'm very excited to ride. Um, we probably won't be here for a while, um, but definitely a few hours and um, pipeline maybe a couple times and then, you know, make go. And some of the coasters you can see pipeline going here and that just looks fun. There pipeline goes. We are heading to it right now. This will be the first line of the or the first ride of the day, and I'm gonna tr um, try to get a front row ride on it um, so that I can record. There's the plaza for pipeline right there, and it honestly it looks incredible. This ride just looks really cool. It's gonna go right here. So I just got off of Pipeline the Surf Coaster and it was good. It was so weird though how like all of it worked, but you know, it was not a bad ride. Um, definitely good. I don't know where it uh, ranks yet, um, but yeah, it was a, a good ride and I did enjoy it.
right, so now we are heading over to Icebreaker. Um, I assume we're probably going to be riding this, however. Um, I don't know, the wait, I can't really tell, but I hope it's not a long wait. I, we probably be riding this in the front row. Um, I've already done back row, and I did front row once, but it was in the dark, so I never posted it as a POV, so I want to get a POV um, during the daytime of a front row ride on Icebreaker, so that is probably what we'll be doing. So we're in the station here for Icebreaker, and it's definitely the shortest line I've ever seen. A station wait for Icebreaker is very rare. Um, yeah, so we're about to go ride it. Okay, so we didn't end up going on Icebreaker because the ride broke down immediately as we got into the station, and it just keeps, they just keep testing it over and over and not opening it. Um, and it's been like that for quite a while now, so we're gonna get on it later, but not right now. I'm hoping they got on Mako a few times now, because usually Mako doesn't have a huge weight, so yeah, hopefully um, we'll be riding that next. I have to say, here at SeaWorld Orlando, they um, have so many fans, um, not only in the ride queues and stations, but also like somewhere, or like sometimes in the past, um, you'll come across some fans, and even in Pipeline, on the brake run, there's fans to cool you off when you're on the brake run. And yeah, I mean, it's really just nice, and definitely a step up from Universal, how they do their um, air conditioning and stuff. Okay, Mako is a 15 minute wait, so we are going to do that probably more than once. Just got off of Mako in the front row. It was very good. Airtime is strong as usual. And now we are going to check the wait time for Manta to see what's that, uh, what that is looking like. And then before we leave, I'm gonna get a back row right on pipeline. Okay, so on the app it lists Manta as a 35 minute wait. So we are going to that right now. I'm not sure if it'll actually be 35 minutes when we get there, but we will probably end up going on it because yeah, I do love Manta. Here we go on Manta. It's a 45 minute wait now and we are going to take the ride. So we are not going on Manta because so far every single roller coaster um, today has closed um, for some mechanical reason. So horrible, um, uh, what am I trying to say here? Uptime for the coasters. Um, bad uptime, I know that's, I know that's a better word. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, every ride has closed so far. Not sure what's going on. Um, but yeah, not gonna be riding Mako, or Manta apparently, so. Um, now I guess we will be going to Pipeline. Okay, so now we are going over to Pipeline, the surf coaster, to get a back row ride. Hopefully that doesn't also shut down. <laughs> um, yeah, we've had terrible luck so far at the park. Um, I don't really mind too much because I've ridden every roller coaster at SeaWorld um, a few times, but I definitely do wanna get, um, at least one more ride on Pipeline. Um, the line will probably be long though, but if it's short, then probably even more rides. Um, but then after Pipeline, we're going to go because, um, yeah, we don't have much time at the park today. Only a couple, a uh, few hours, so. Um, yeah, this will be a shorter vlog probably. Um, but yeah, we'll be going to Pipeline right now. Here we go for our second ride on Pipeline, the surf goes.
Okay, so we just got off of our second ride of Pipeline the Surf Coaster, which was in the back row, and I'm honestly kind of torn whether I like the front or back more. The back definitely delivers more airtime, um, but, and I, yeah, the back it delivers more airtime and is more of, I'd say, an insane ride experience. Um, but the front is also really cool where you get nice views and stuff, so it all depends on what you like, um, in my opinion. But yeah, it is a great ride, and I, 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 okay, I won't say anything about the ranking because I'll be doing a SeaWorld Orlando Coasters ranking video soon. But yeah, now I think that'll be the last ride of the day, and we are going to start um, heading to the front of the park. And now we are going to um, just go to the Dolphin Nursery for a bit before we go, and that will be the last thing we do at the park. be leaving SeaWorld <coughs> Orlando. This was all around a good day. We got some awesome rides on Pipeline, um, which is great, and a ride on Mako. So yeah, that will end out this SeaWorld Orlando vlog. Thank you for watching.